compression uh, ya compression ya ndani ya material inakuwa ni ina, inakuwa inataka ku match na uh, na 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 zina resonance frequency tofauti tofauti si ndio ina maana hapo manake vile vile tunazunguka sababu ukisema frequency tofauti manake unazungumza energy tofauti kwa kila material ina nguvu fulani ambayo inatokana na mwanga ambayo ikipata hiyo nguvu kama hiyo nguvu inayokuja kwenye material inalingana na ile resonance energy ya, ya ile material basi kuna kitu kinatokea tunaita ni vibration ni kama mtetemo fulani unatokea katika material si ndio 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 okay. huko sahihi kabisa huko sahihi kabisa sasa fluorescence fluorescence ni aina nyingine ya ni aina nyingine ya uh, ya scattering naona pia ni scattering ya mwanga ambayo uh, mara okay tayari upo okay uh, sasa ni niwapeleke ni katika sehemu uh, katika kipengele ambacho tutakuwa tunafanya measurement baada ya kupata uh, overview kujua nini kina nini kusuana nani na mashine inafanya vipi kazi na uh, computer iko pale ambayo inakuwa imekuwa ikiti na software ambayo ina inatuanisha ku uh, ku kumuva msha kufanya measurements ku change unaweza kupata kubadilisha na ni aina aina ya laser light tutakutumia na kitu kama hiyo. Kwa hiyo kuna vitu vingi sana lakini wewe tuanze kwanza hapa taratibu tutaanza kuonyesha kwa hiyo kitu na tunafanya kitu gani hasa. Ah sasa na sample tayari ipo hapa kwenye stage. Ah uh, uh, kabla sija kabla sija kufanya measurement uh, mwanga unaokuwa ni mwanga kawaida ni halogen lamp ambao na ndio nakusaidia wewe kuona uh, kuona saa nini kipo kwenye kwenye sampo sampo yako unapima na mara nyingi una kuna switch kwa pembeni hapa ambayo unaweza ka ukona ambayo inawasha kwa ajili ya kupata mwanga huo na pia unaweza adjust uka adjust na ni intensity ya mwanga kulingana na wewe unakotaka yeah lakini Uh, lakini kwa ukiwa ukitaka kwenda kwenye baada ya kuwa umesha select eneo lako nataka kufanya measurement ku, kupitia is knob wa stage ambayo pia sasa tunatumia stage unataka kutumia hii kitu inaitwa microsoft stage controller ambayo unaweza ka move around kutumia hii ball na na ku na ku move around up uh, uh, katika nani elevation of tofauti kama point of tofauti katika sampo yako inakusaidia hiyo ku move around. Uh, okay sasa uh, kabla hujafanya measurement uta switch from halogen kama inavyoonekana hapo hii hii uh, symbol kwenda kwenye laser ambayo utageuza hii utasunda ita twist mpaka hii kwenye namba 4 alafu na pembeni pia hapa kuna ishara hiyo hiyo ya switch ambayo unatoa kwenye halogen na pia kwenye kwenye uh, laser. Uh, uh, hii ni ni vizuri ku proceed with caution kwa sababu laser kidogo inaweza ka ina ni very powerful mwanga wake unaweza uka uka uka, 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 uka shida kwenye macho kwa hiyo mara nyingi tunakuwa tunavaa goggles hii si ambayo unaziona inasaidia uh, ku hata ukitaka kuangalia pia through binocular hii na nime microscope kwa sahi lens ni line rahisi bila tofauti na kutumia naked eye inaweza kazi ta shida kidogo sasa ili ku, 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 kufanya measurement vizuri inabidi tuwe na na tutenze the room lazima iwe room iwe dark room ili iwe ili kufanya measurement kwa sababu tayari kuna mwanga mwingine unatoka huku na kitu kama hiyo kwa hiyo switch off the lights Yeah. So baada ya switch of the lights nitakuja kwenye software. 
kwenye software hapa nitakuja kwenye uh, measurements nitachagua new measurements katika new measurements hapa kuna spec acquisition ambayo hii unachukua just one uh, uh, just one time uh, measurement ambayo uh, inakuwa just uh, constitute kuna single point na inakuwa ni single point measurement afu kuna deep series acquisition na map image acquisition map hii hapa ambayo mara nyingi napenda kutumia hii ni very precise uh, na inakuwa ina uh, very accurate kwa sababu inakuwa unakuwa una measurement different points una measure the same area spot but uh, uh, many times let's say 10 times or 15 times lakini pia disadvantage kama inachukua muda mrefu zaidi ukilinganisha na spectral acquisition well kuna haja pia pia deep series uh, acquisition ambayo mara nyingi wanatumika lakini kwa study zangu waitumiki labda katika uh, uh, katika chemist, ke, 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 uh, ke, uh, chemistry studies ndio tumika zaidi deep series so nitakuja kuchagua hii map image acquisition nita draw uh, small area it's a small area doesn't have to be uh, small, too small or too or, or too big uh, then it uh, it achagua just uh, vertices za kupima let's say from 0 to 50 now uh, these are just random numbers uh, step to 5 step then let's say the same one uh, 25 yes okay oops Okay. Kwa ukishachagua ile eneo unaangalia getting scan type ambayo ni static au extended. Extended hapa inakupa uh, uwezo wa kufanya measurement from all the way from 100 uh, Roman shift. Uh, set, uh, I mean set, uh, is ni is in terms of is in spectrum range of course. From low to high ambayo ni 100 mpaka 200 na ukichagua static inakuwa tu unachagua center wavelength ambayo kwa this case for me i'm interested only from 1200 mpaka 1800 au 1700 lakini itakuja kuwa the same humo humo configuration kwa focality i don't need it just uh, just use the uh, echo faint kwa maana yake imechagua high configuration uh, a laser name hapa ni unakuwa unachagua aina tofauti ya uh, ya laser utakutumia well, for my for my case here uh, natumia hii ya sababu tamesha kuweza hapa itabadilika yes alafu then uh, kuna grading name kwa so hizi na hizo za grading so grading pia tunafuatana na na, na aina ya wavelengths tunatumia uh, 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 laser wavelengths tunatumia kwa kwa hapa is is 1200 lines per millimeter ni ni grade nzuri ambayo inakuwa ni compatible zaidi na hii hapa alafu na hii 2400 lines per millimeter ambayo ni visible inakuwa compatible zaidi na hii visible uh, laser wavelengths kwa so we stick with this one and the third name ndio hiyo then it uh, is supply nitakuja kwenye acquisition uh, setup ta just use one second at first time accumulation one should be fine then laser power uh, it's better to start with small as a power, let's say 0 0.5. 0 .5. Namana is 0 0.5 milliwatt. This is 0 0.5, this is uh, 0 0.5 not milliwatt. Uh, in 0 0.5 net percent okay. of the total power. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, then press that one. Hakuna kwa tayari kutaki kwanza measurements. Lakini uta set origin kwa sabi tayari movement alisha badili kairania ya detector kwa uja set origin then you can press run we start the measurement so now you, as you can see uh, kwa mba tayari tuna tuna some spectrum zina, 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 zina pop up na kila spectrum based on the acquisition number you can see number collected here tuna tukwa tuna 9 number so which means uh, katika hii spot ambayo tunafanya measurement tuta, tume, tuna, 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 tuna nine measurement from the same spot just at different position same spot but measuring the uh, accumulation uh, accumulation of the measurement is nine kwa hiyo hii ni nzuri kwa sababu inatusaidia kufanya averaging ya, ya kujua kwamba uh, 
na inakuwa ni 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 ni, ni, ni muafizi kwa zaidi ku, kufanya measurements ya namna hii ya sasa na kuna deal na this kind of samples tofauti na aspect aspect I'll just give you one so inakuwa kidogo ni ngumu uh, uh, kwa uh, uh, in terms of accuracy uh, ya yani ya, ya, ya measurement zako kwa hiyo tusaidie zaidi so mogasa mhm nimeona hapo kuna graph Mm. na kuna some peaks yani kuna maeneo ambayo mm. inaonekana energy imeenda juu ndio alafu kuna maeneo ambayo yako chini hebu tuombe tupe tofauti maeneo ambapo kunaonekana graph imeenda juu hizo peaks hizo peaks zinamaanisha nini tofauti hizo zina tofauti gani na hii sehemu ambayo iko flat okay uh, sasa this is the part ambayo tuna ambayo ndo tuna tuna tuko more interested in uh, kuna peak iko hapa